Imagine that you're in your basement, your computer room, your bedroom, your study, your office, wherever it is that you use or play on your old retro games. Imagine you're there now and it's dark and dusty. Or maybe it isn't, maybe it's really clean and hygienic. But regardless, there's something about being in, you know, an old room, an old office with an old desk that just makes playing retro games even more legendary. I remember as a kid, I used to love just having this, this small side office light on. It just made it more cozy and more interesting. And today we're basically talking about, yes, MS-DOS commands. And usually in those days we would use floppy disks and I'm sure many of you watching this video will know that now. Now, I'm Dave, welcome to DOS Byte. We do weekly videos about things like um, DOS computers, sorry, retro computers for some of you, um, old computers, old games, games usually working off like floppy disks or older um, and stuff like that. So if that, that sounds interesting to you, check out the channel, subscribe and like this video if you're getting value. Now, what sort of DOS commands do you think about when you think of MS-DOS? Now, one of my uh, favorites is the old CD backslash. And uh, how many of those of you have done like multiple directories? So you've gone like CD backslash, you know, golf, whatever the game is, and then like directly, you know, the next folder, backslash, the next folder, the next folder. Uh, but normally on old games, you'd stick in your floppy disk and you'd have that awesome click noise and it would just go in there was something really satisfying about doing that and then you would type in cd backslash golf i'm just using that as, as an example and then you if you forgot i was like oh what do you have to type in next and you know if you've used it recently you'd probably just type in golf again and, and, and that would be the bat or the zap file and off you'd go but sometimes just for our pure interest i would type in dir see what the directly was and it would show you go and it would show you what was in that particular folder or directly. So that was uh, quite interesting. And uh, I don't know, what, what ones do you like? Put in the comments below what commands, MS-DOS commands, you used to like using. So I used to use, like using A colon. Obviously, you'd have to put in the uh, shift burn colon to get the two dots rather than the dot and the comma. Otherwise, it'd get all scared. And that was usually the floppy disk drive on most computers I used anyway. Um, and on old computers, funny enough, I used to have um, an, an A and a B drive if I had multiple drives. And obviously on later computers, well, in the early days anyway, on like Windows 95 and 98 or maybe even 3.1, <clears throat> I used to notice that the disk drive was quite often D, which was interesting. So, you know, you'd have like your A drive, Maybe you have a B drive or you wouldn't. And then obviously you'd have the C drive, which was the hard drive. And even though that was the main drive then, obviously earlier computers didn't have hard drives. So that's why A was the first one. And that was normally the boot drive, like on my Sinclair I've showed you in a different video. Um, but yeah, so getting back to the point. <laughs> I, the uh, let's, let's name some. So you have like A colon, B colon, DIR. Um, star dot star, which was, um, I believe, usually copy all. Um, delete, which was usually just D-E-L. Um, and what was quite cool, actually, if you did a D-I-R forward slash P, say that 10 times fast, that will show you page by page. So that was quite a useful command. Um, quite often, certain games, if you typed in help, it come up with like a mini document. Well, I say document, a few words on on the uh, on the page. Uh, that was quite a useful command. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ones I used to use. Um, to be honest, though, because you know, as a kid especially, I was more of a, just a, a gamer um, user of DOS. Where perhaps with someone like my granddad, or for some of you that use it for business, you would have used other commands. Um, but because I was mainly a gamer, it was mainly you know DIR. Sorry, CD backslash, the name of whatever game I was playing, Prince for Prince of Persia, Golf for Golf, Steel for Steel Empire, etc. And then it was just typing Go. And, and quite often you would type in, you know, DIR, it would come up and you would see like the different, um, you try and work out which, you know, which folder um, was going to start your program, you know, which had the exec, the exe next to it, or the bat file, um, and you just try one of them. And it, with even older games, like a, a game like Stunt Car Racer on the old uh, Amstrads, um, you'd have multiple versions depending on what screen you had. So it'd be like car 
CGA, EGA, and I think it was even a uh, a car. Um, oh, I can't remember what it was now. It was like a, another one. Um, depending on what's, what monitor you had. So that was quite cool. So you had, sometimes you had different loads up and it's really cool to install on DOS, wasn't it? You type in install or go was normally it or sometimes, you know, that sort of thing. And then you come up with a little blue screen and you have the little white dots going. And I think my favourite DOS game, though it's a little bit later, uh, was Worms because you had little worms popping going and they're all like blowing up and popping up and all that sort of jazz. But there was a thing about typing in on an old keyboard. Even now, I prefer retro keyboards if possible, just to click, 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 and type in these different commands. But yeah, if you're getting value from this video, um, smash the like button. And please feel free to put in the comments below what commands in MS DOS that you used. Uh, oh, Win or Edict to, if you had a Windows on that particular machine, it would take you back. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Win would just go straight to Windows, sort of. Obviously, I had to load it up and Edzik was actually coming straight out of DOS, but I apologize if that's slightly wrong, but I knew there was a slight difference there. Um, and I apologize, and I know there was loads more, but they're the ones, some of the ones that I used to use. So like I said, put in the comments below what commands that you used to use for either gaming or working, just be interesting to know. If you got value from today's video, smash the like button. Uh, we do have merch, um, support the channel by subscribing, watching our other videos. At the end of the video, there will be two end cards, which will give you even more value, even more interesting videos. And check out our Facebook community because there's, what, 68,000 people there now, so shout out to them. And just briefly, question of the day, did you have one favourite command on MS-DOS?